find cos 180. To find this, we should follow this method C. Here we have 180 and 180 is a multiple of 180. So what we should do is, in place of 180, now we should write 180 plus 0. This is your step 1. Next, cos in place of 180, now we should write 1 into 180 plus 0. Next, here we have 180, so cos is not going to change, it will remain cos. And inside, we get this angle, 0. Now the question is, will we get here plus or minus? To answer that, we should look at the number before 180, that is 1. And 1 is odd, and all the odd multiples of 180, they lie in either in the second or in the third quadrant. So now, to select the quadrant, we should look at this symbol. Here we have plus. That means angle lies in the third quadrant and in the third quadrant cos is negative. So we should put negative. So negative cos 0 is 1. This is our answer.